everyone, I'm Jared Z, and I'm out with the Canon R5, the 45 megapixel monster from Canon. And uh, on it, I've got the 51.2. I'm walking around at Hitchcock Nature Center, which is another one of my favorite places. I love Heron Haven in Omaha, and then Hitchcock Nature Center in Iowa. It's very close together, kind of. Uh, where I live is, is right on the border there, so I get to go to both states and have a lot of fun. So we're gonna go test out this combination, which is a pretty amazing combination. Even though the camera is a 45 megapixel one, and even though this lens is a you know 51.2, the total combination, the package already feels really uh, you know balanced, and it feels pretty decent hanging out you know on my on my side with my rapid strap. Um, and I'm gonna go walk the trails, chase some of the fall light, and see what kind of amazing shots that this 51.2 allows me to get. So let's go and, and see what we can do. All right, one of the first shots of the day is gonna be a couple of these fall leaves that kind of fall and just happens to, uh, to lay on somewhere out in the natural environment. You know, the Canon R5 focuses incredibly fast, accurately. It focuses almost too quickly, so you're like, is it really in focus? And so far, every shot I've reviewed has been really in focus. And I know I'm a nature photographer, and not really too much of a wildlife photographer, but it does really help to give us some confidence that what I'm pointing the camera at, putting the autofocus dot on, because what I'm using is um, single shot, and I choose you know, my autofocus point, I move it around with the joystick, and it just gives you the confidence that every shot is gonna be focused, even in like high contrast situations. So I'm gonna get a shot of this red leaf that's just vibrantly red within the, uh, sun rays that are coming down, streaming down here in the, in the afternoon. Hitchcock Nature Center is definitely one of the most beautiful places you can visit in the Omaha slash Council Bluffs uh, area. It's full of these amazing paths, lots of wildlife, and just some beautiful compositions almost everywhere you go. So photography is all about choices. And one of the choices you get to make is how much you want to separate your subject from the background. But one of the challenges is when your subject is kind of far off in the distance. It's hard to, to get background separation for something like that. And that's one of the advantages of the 51.2 is that the extremely wide aperture lets you get some of that background blur, even on something like this, where the tree is a little bit farther away most of my other lenses, I really wouldn't be able to do that with. This whole tree is really cool on the underside of this hill. Uh, but with the 50, I can't quite get a wide angle shot. So what I've done is I've done three different shots, one over to the right, in the middle, and then a little bit on the left that I'm gonna combine in Lightroom to make a real quick panorama that I think is gonna look great in black and white. I'm in Raccoon Valley here at Hitchcock. It's really one of my favorite places to go to. It's really low and it's nice and cool. The sun is almost like it's completely sunset right now just because the, the hill is so high over there. Um, but these, these trails go through some amazing parts. And 
the 51.2, because it has such a wide aperture, even when the light gets dim, it allows you to shoot at ISO 100 or 200 uh, to get the highest quality photo you could possibly want, right? And I found some cool little leaves right here, hanging down, it's dark, but I'll still use ISO 100 um, and get the awesome color, even though we're in a, a little dimmer situation. So I'm shooting into some really high contrast scenes and what I'm doing in these situations, you know, I don't have a really amazing sky to work with. I have the blaring sun, as you can see. So I'm kind of trying to hide the sun in a lot of these and just focus in on the details that's being revealed by the sun rays uh, because those are interesting too, right? So I did want to come out here and hopefully get some cool skies. But as you can see, I have cool light, but I don't have the cool skies. So instead, I'm going to focus on some of the details I find. Sorry for the sweat bath, but I just went up a hill and now here's another one before me waiting to conquer me. And uh, this is a good chance to show off the 1.2's ability to separate the foreground from the background, which is just stunning. So I'm going to focus here on the uh, foreground and let the background be more implied of that there's a path there and let it be blurry going all the way up the hill. And uh, now I'm about to go up this hill and you probably won't see me for a while. I think there's a bug on my face. I made it up that gigantic hill, took a little rest. Now it's time to get in the car, go home and check out these amazing 45 megapixel images. At least I hope they're amazing. Thank you. 